hi guys today i'm going to teach you how to do email segmentation using deep learning techniques in matlab also i'll show you the three different image model that is brain tumor and fundus exudates and liver segmentation so all these image model segmentation we are using the unit so unit is nothing but it's a segmentation model we can use it for any image processing as well as medical image processing you can see the units model structure here so it is in the shape of u uh, there will be encoder as well as the decoder so encoder extracting the feature and the decoder is concatenating all the features which is pro produced by the encoder so the best thing about this unit is there is a skip connection so we can produce the feature map from the encoder side also we can combine with the decoder side so we can get the better feature map for better segmentation so i will show you how to do that in matlab so just <coughs> initially just you create one folder keep any name and just you open the folder and you can create two more folders and uh, and just name this images and mask so you take the original images inside the images folder and you take the mask inside the mask folder so keep all those folders inside the corresponding images and mask folder names so once you completed just for example here i i have taken the fundus images so likewise you can take the brain tumor uh, brain tumor means you can take the brain tumor uh, brain tumor images as well as the corresponding mask so so if you want to do any segmentation you can do it here first uh, today i'm not going to explain about the full code just initially i'm explaining about how to read those datas that is images as well as the mask so just to read the particular path and uh, give the full file path directory of images and the mask and take it as image data store and display the training images then just give the class name here for fundus image i have taken the exudates and the backgrounds then provide the label 0 uh, 1 0 is background and 1 for exudates then take the pixel image data store after that count the number of pixels and the frequency related to background and foreground then just take the layer graph then construct the layer after that connect all those layers then give the training option train the network then you just test our input data so once uh, load our input data we can test it we can read those images we can do the semantic segmentation finally we can produce the result so just i'm running the program here So already I trained here but it's taking too much time so I already trained the model and I'm just just loading the model here so just I'm running from here itself so it is taking too much time to train so already I trained that one just I'm showing the result here. so this is the result for exudates of fundus images so so first one is the input image and the, this is the outcome of the unit this is the ground truth and this is the labeled outcome so you can see the uh, exudates present in the particular image and the segmented out so different colors i have allotted for background and the exudates so this is for segmenting the exudates in the fundus images then i am going to try I am going to run the program for a brain tumor. Here also I already trained the model and just I loaded the model here. Just now I am checking the segmentation outcome. 
just it's running now so these are the segmentation outcomes using the unit model so different class is coming here three classes we can segment the brain tumor into three classes so it is indicated with three different colors blue green and red so these are the outcome of unit model for brain tumor segmentation and classification so if you see this outcome we can see red color is a particular one kind of first class and the green color is second class and the blue color is the third class so this is the segmented outcome so this is the input image segmented uh, outcome of unit this is the ground truth this is the labeled outcome so so likewise we can segment we can segment the different classes of tumors from the mri image now i am going to run the uh, liver segmentation same thing only here also i just trained the model and loaded the data here just i am running the program from the loaded model now it's running so here you can see the outcome so this is the input this is segmented unit this is the ground truth this is the segmented color image so the blue color is the tumor portion and the violet color is the liver portion and the background is the yellow color so this is the different outcome of liver segmentation as well as the tumor segmentation so this is also i have done based upon the unit model only so i just shown you the three different models used to for segmenting the exudates and the brain tumors and the liver and liver tumors based upon the unit so it's nothing but first you can take one folder and and keep um, and you can keep the images in a one folder and you can keep the mask in another folder after that we can load the data in different variables image directory and label directory we can provide the path of the original folder after that you can label the particular background and the foreground then you can construct the layers then you can train and you can test this so hope you can understand this one how to do the segmentation of medical image using the unit model so if you any doubt you can ask me and uh, uh, next video i'll show you the another different variety of segmentation or classification or object thank you thanks for watching